in this video tutorial uh, I'm going to show you how to move WordPress from a directory into your root or from the root to a directory uh, the first thing you need to do is go this is a test site that I have but the process would be the same uh, regardless of how big your website is uh, I'm using a host gator cPanel uh, for example but uh, most cPanels have the same layout same type of uh, cPanel admin panel so I'm going to click on file manager and then go into home directory and click on public HTML that is the home directory that you normally have this is the rest of the programs that the server uses but we're not going to use any of those ones so click on public HTML uh, when you click on public HTML uh, you will have if you have already got a website created that is in your domain name root folder public HTML folder it will show up down here with WordPress uh, it needs to be on its own with the index PHP file you can't have two index files on a in a public HTML so you got to there can only be one index HTML uh, index page index file in the folder so if you have any other folders of any other website here you need to move it into a folder by creating a folder uh, in my example I don't have it I have a index HTML file that I created a blank file so I'm going to delete that file basically what you need to do is open your word uh, the folder file uh, the WordPress folder and this is the WordPress that is installed with everything that uh, it needs so what I'm going to do is highlight everything and I'm going to copy it into public HTML uh, I can move it if I want to but I want to keep a backup of WordPress just in case something goes wrong so I would rather copy it and then still have a backup of in a WordPress and I can delete it once everything is working fine so I'm going to copy this and put them in public HTML folder so I take this out and put it in public HTML folder it will copy everything that is in a WordPress folder into public HTML folder now if I open public HTML folder I should have all the files that WordPress files has uh, that index file that I created I need to delete that because it will open index P HTML file before index PHP file so I'm going to look for the index HTML file and delete that and there it is uh, WordPress uses index PHP so I'm going to delete this file down here okay the next thing you need to do is go into since you moved from WordPress to uh, root folder the URLs have changed in the database so what you need to do is go into database and to do that we go into our home and databases and I go into my PHP my admin and as this is a test site I don't have much on there 
but uh, with your case if you have already got a WordPress working website you would have a lot more tables and uh, posts and everything saved on there but uh, the process will be the same so what we're going to do is export this database into my computer we select all tables and leave the rest as it is save as a file tick that one if it's not ticked and you can name that file to whatever you want so I'll just call it test file and you can zip it if you want to or you can uh, if you have a very big one you can zip it but uh, if you have a very small one you don't need to zip it and it press go and it will tell you where you want to save it I always normally have uh, my windows tell me where I want to save it so I can find it in a later day uh, where, where I've saved it so I'm going to save it in my web websites around here once I have saved this one the database I'm going to open the same database in a notepad plus plus it's a free editor program you can download you can and find one I'm going to close this and open that database file And in, if you have a big web uh, database, then you will have uh, other places. Normally, it would be in the options that we got to change the URLs. So basically, what you need to do is search for your URL and replace it. And I'm going to search for HTTP And when I've searched it it will show me down here in options there be if you have a big database you will show it will show in a lot of other places so it search for that one and I'm going to replace search and replace I'm going to click on replace and I'm going to replace that URLs as many as there are with just the domain name so I can copy the domain name from top And it will replace uh, every instance where it has uh, that domain name with this one. Now replace. Now it tells me how many times it replaced. Uh, and now there were four places that I had the domain name. Uh, with your database, maybe you have 15, 20, depends on what you have on your database. So it's changed the databases everywhere where it used to be WordPress. It's one of them is down here and then there's other places that once we have done that we can save this file 
and the way I do it, I I always save as something else. So I still have a copy of the original. So I just call this test new and save. So I still have the copy of the old one just in case something went wrong. Once we've done that, we can come back onto our PHP MyAdmin and we're going to import. But before we import, we got to drop everything that's there. We don't want all this down here. We're going to replace them with the new ones. So we select all of all, check all, and drop them. Now I don't have anything in a database. So what we're going to do is import the new database file we just created. And uh, that was in my websites folder. And uh, test new and open. This will import all the the database with the URLs changed. So we got our database back with all the tables changed. Now if we go on a website we should have the website open. So I'm going to open a new tab uh, with just a domain name. So it'll be HTTP So the website has been moved from WordPress to graypakers.com. But if you want to delete the WordPress folder or keep a copy of that, you can always download that copy and keep it on your computer. I hope this video tutorial has helped you how to move your WordPress from a directory to uh, your root, your domain name, 